Welcome back, everyone, to a long-anticipated pod. I know I've been getting some DMs about people missing it, and we're finally back. And, oh boy, do we have a whole lot of news. Portal, what do you think about all the stuff we got? I think we have too much stuff, honestly. And I hate to say it, but the leaks are just amazing. I mean, I guess I'd love to say it. These leaks are amazing. We even got leaks for stuff that isn't coming out anymore, which is pretty cool. We got news. We got a modular, which I'm not a fan of, but we'll get into that later. And uh, let's start with the leak that's not actually coming out, shall we? We have this oh, leak gift with purchase of Mr. Claus, or Santa Claus. Is he Mr. Claus? Santa Claus and Mrs. Yeah. Claus. I Thank think you. that is the correct mythology. Okay. Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Claw- oh my gosh. San- the Chris, the, um, the... Those two Christmas people. Yes, the two Christmas people in a Christmas house. And it's really nice. It's this gift with purchase. Um, for some reason, this isn't coming out anymore. I don't know why. This is the best gift with purchase we've seen in like half of a year. It's fantastic. It gives you two really good figures. It's, this is a really good set. The reef is beautiful. There's a music sheet that looks like it's printed. There's a little cute doggy. I love this set. But um, yeah, it's not coming out. But we got it leaked. So Lego's been pulling stuff recently. Um, <laughs> I mean, any thoughts on this weird kind of news? That is bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen something that is this, like, finished. That they're like, you know what? No. We're not going to put this out for some reason. So there must be some, like, designer conflict or something that's stopping it. Because by all marks, this is one of the best, as you said, gift with purchases. So there's no reason that they shouldn't put it out. Oh, yeah. I think it's funny, too, because this will come out at some point. Because it looks like it's totally finished and everything. So we might, in 2021 have a 2022 Christmas set leaked already, or maybe a Christmas in June, Christmas in March set, which is very far away. And it's, it's quite odd. It is. Um, speaking of pulling sets, the X-Men mech, the Iron Man mech, and the Black Panther mech have all been pulled from shelves. Actually, they never even got to the shelves. They got pulled off of the, the planes and stuff, I assume. Lego sent a message out to land members, said, don't review these sets. We're no longer releasing them in January. We have to fix some stability issues with the mechs. I guess they weren't standing up correctly, which is ironic because they're meant to stand. Well, and that's also interesting because they've had two to three lines of precursor mechs to sort of base them off. So I'm curious about, I don't know if there's leaks or for these or not, but what was so different from these that made them not stand up. I'm trying to find if there's leaks for them. I mean, I was looking at them too, because like we've had official images. I just think I have no idea. Also, Lego does so much testing for them to actually send out the set and then say, "Oh shoot, we messed this one up," and then spend all the money to take it back and actually fix it. I think is impressive and disappointing at the same time. Like yeah, on like one that's hand, really catastrophic failure. Yeah, on one hand, you have the catastrophic failure. But on the other hand, they just, like, burned a hole through their wallet to keep this off shelves so they could fix it. And that part, I do respect. So um, there's the good and there's the ugly. But here, I mean, the jank and the dank. How bad is a set <laughs> that you go through so much effort to get it back? Like, that so Dragon is looking at the, the jank side of this. <laughs> the, I'm just thinking, like, how bad can it be that you have pre-set up lines and sort of a guide for the design because these mechs aren't too difficult they follow a relatively simple formula i mean they do well with the variations better than the new ninjago stuff but we'll get to that later uh but like the only thing i can think of is the they got too like overzealous with the mechs themselves and they're too heavy for the legs and the legs give out or something like that because i can't even understand how a ball joint like you can orientate it in a way that it would stand up. How are they finding something that they can't make not fall over? Like, I, I can't even fathom how that's possible. Some poor designer's crying right now. But I totally agree. I don't know how this happened. And I'm wondering partly if this is their, their kind of like code for saying either they had some kind of internal problem or maybe the minifigures. Because like Wolverine is X-Men, who we haven't seen in forever. So maybe... Disney came out and said, hey, you're not allowed to do that without our permission. Or maybe, hey, if you're going to do Wolverine, it has to be this version. And maybe they were like, oh, shoot. And then had to pull it and re-release it, maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know. It's just so weird. It's odd. That, yeah, it's just bizarre. Keeping in the Christmas spirit, though, we got the Christmas gift this year to the LEGO employees. And, man, I really wish I was a LEGO employee right about now, because this set is phenomenal. It is a full-on Ninjago Sensei Wu's, like, training building at Christmas time. You got Christmas Garmadon. You got all the Golden Ninja. Literally every Golden Ninja is in this set. You got um, Christmas Samurai X. There's so many minifigures in this thing. The build is so fun. The Christmas tree looks fantastic, by the way. You got the snakes with little scarves. I mean, this <laughs> this set is amazing. Hold on. Is this the the one with all of the legacy sets in it? Yeah. Uh, no, this is the one with all the legacy gold figures. It's the... um. It's the Wait, and that's box. not something they're putting on shelves? No, it's only for LEGO employees. It's their yearly <laughs> Christmas gift. This, no. I saw that. I was so hyped. I was like, <laughs> no, you can get all the legacy figures in one set, and it's a lit temple, but no. Oh. So, shall we play a game? How much do you think this is going to go for within a week oh, after it's gonna go it to for employees? Like two to three hundred dollars, if not five hundred. Oh, I would go, yeah, so... I would guess like six, seven hundred. The Christmas X-Wing from last year, I think, was going for eight. Maybe it's more. It's so cool. It's amazing. Like, it's so cool. seriously. Why? Lego, you could have made so much money, but no. And I don't know who this goes out to, but I'm of the understanding it goes out to, like, even the store clerks and stuff. I All believe. Right. Which is insane, <sighs> if I'm correct. It also goes out to land members sometimes, if they have extras. So it's a good time to be a Lego employee. Uh, Lego, if you need another land member, we're definitely, yeah, we're definitely looking for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we could be a land member. We're definitely qualified for that. We're we getting are, up there. and then me and Dragon will fight to the death to see who gets the set, so. Yeah, and <laughs> of course, because I'm taller, I will win. <laughs> Says the short guy. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at these again with the mechs, and I can't see why, stability-wise, they would be worse. Like, the Black Panther is the exact same as Miles Morales, and the... Iron Man is the exact same as another one. And, like, they all match up, so I cannot understand why they would pull them off shows. Like, I guess the Wolverine mech has giant swords sticking out of it, so maybe. But why pull all three? Also, I, think, I think it's some kind of internal problem. Oh, definitely. Also, the Black Panther mech would be a super lit base for a Portal Master mech. Just colors. And oh, you're so right. You're so right. But anyways, moving, moving on. <laughs> beyond moving the away portal. from the faulty mechs. If you've been yeah, watching the, the show for a while, <laughs> you know Dragon loves the mechs. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That would be... <laughs> the, this is a actual news, not a leak, but the creator line has put out what I find to be, personally, an amazing new line of sets, which is these little dioramas with printed tiles of these big cities like New York and Beijing, and I think Beijing, and these are only $15, and they are fantastic. Yeah, they definitely look pretty cool. I mean, I'm curious to see, like, the accuracy and how they uh, did it, but they look good. I really like the part usages on these. Like, the candle piece for the buildings in Beijing is beautiful. I like the use of that cloud plate. Ah, uh, what else do I like? The Statue of Liberty minifigure, which is kind of cool, but also feels cheap because she was a CMF figure, and I think this is the exact same. But, um, I mean, these are fantastic. Lego's got to make up for that recall money somehow. That's true. Well, I think when the CMS were first coming out, they were like, oh, this is cool, and, like, you know, Lego's still a smaller company at that point in time. So they're like, sure, we can do figures like the Statue of Liberty and these other characters. And now they're like, oh, shoot, like the Statue of Liberty, an amazing minifigure. We put it in a CMF. Like, how are we not supposed to use that again? But maybe the printing is different. If so, it's excusable, in my opinion. What else do we have here? We got a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, we have... So yeah, I mean, I'm Speaking looking. of CMFs, we got those official leaks or like some closer images of the figures and I don't know if we've already talked about it, but man, are they cool. Specifically, the, like, Moon Knight, or whatever you want to call her, I'm definitely picking up. Oh, that's amazing. 
translucent yeah. purple shield and sword. I don't think I've ever seen that type of sword in translucent, let alone translucent purple. Amazing armor that is uh, just awesome. Blue hair, a lot of just unique in one figure. Toucan mold is awesome. Sonic is cursed, but I think that's for something else. Um, <laughs> yeah, it totally is. But uh, the go off, go off. The colored Lego hair recently in sets, I really like. Like oh, it yeah. reflects something that's currently happening, and it's also it's really cool. Yeah, it's they're just cool colors. I wasn't expecting the weird like midget with a acorn hat and a mushroom pet, but I mean it's cool. I kind of like him. I kind of like him. The part is amazing. Uh, yeah. This is a. A really good CMF. Once again, my yep. problem is the fact that it's five dollars, not four. Oh, that's right. I mean, we were right. That is actually just Santa with a knife. That that's what the character is. So, so it reminds me of that guy from you know the movie where all the holidays are like real people and stuff. Yeah, and the Jack Guardians. Frost. Yeah, that I one. love that movie. That movie is so good. I should watch it again. It was really fun. It reminds me of that Santa guy, but like turn the violence up about fifty percent. I know he's so like menacing looking for no reason. The <laughs> the worst there's only one thing they could have done to make it worse is like give the husky he has like an angry face as well or something. <laughs> so I don't have a Santa Claus figure. I really want one. And um I find it funny that this is probably the first Santa Claus in my collection. <laughs> Poor old company chose violent Santa. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Just violent Santa army. That's the next stop motion. Well, not the next one, because this isn't out. But we'll raid the stores, we'll get all the evil Santas, and we'll make an army. That's the perfect army building. We're in a hole in our pockets, because it's $1 more. Yeah, you don't be... think it's that much, but it adds up. <laughs> it'll be 20% smaller than the normal army, because <laughs> of the extra dollar. But um, <laughs> The account fun. for in- inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the other, in my opinion, oversized, or overpriced thing. We'll see what Dragon thinks about this, though. We have two Star Wars battle packs, which, first of all, I think the designs for these are amazing. We have a clone battle pack, which I really like, and we also have a Hoth Rebel battle pack, which I really like. My favorite thing about these is they don't use stud shooters. They give you the actual blasters, and they gave you extra blasters. And the builds for, like, the turret and stuff look really good. The problem is a battle pack has three minifigures and is $15. Oh. Yeah. I, I mean, would say, I mean, mistake. $5 per, like, per minifigure is pretty steep. I mean, hold on, let me do some calculations. Like, I get these are more pieces than normal, but when you're talking a battle pack, like, I could care less about the pieces. In the Hoth one, I like the turrets, that makes sense. But, I mean, you look at the clone one, and it's like this, like, battle station with computers. Like, I don't need 30 of those if I'm trying to build an army. I just don't. Yeah, we're we're buying the battle packs to get like cheap and like easy little small things for uh an army and my goodness is that not worth it. Like, yes, the guns are awesome. That would make sense for an army building. But take out the radar cannon and give us another one or something. I something agree. other than four. I remember when it was four mini figures and that was really cool. I mean no- one of the first battle packs I got was the Mandalorian battle pack. It had a little ship, little mounted gun for Mandalorians. I think it was probably ten bucks. Yeah, and then we get fifteen minifigures for the sad fifteen dollars. Yeah, but um, man, that set was on sale for seven dollars during Black Friday. I was almost like, oh, buy an army, but then I was like, nah. But um, the cool thing about these is they're in like the the package. You know, that's not a box, but it has like the plastic minifigure where all the pieces are. Yeah. So those, almost all of those go on sale at some point, usually down to at least $12. And I think if you look at these as $12 on sale, that's not as bad, especially since you're getting extra pieces. So if you want an army build and you have patience, I would recommend waiting because Lego themselves will put them on sale. Lego will be like, hey, they're $12. And then you get the 5% back from VIP, 10% if it's double VIP. And then you're talking about like a $10 set. So I think if you're smart about it, and strategically wait and have patience, you can get a good deal out of this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically all I have to say. Uh, anything else you got? No, not really. 
I do actually want to add that I love that all of these are actually army building figures because sometimes in past battle packs they've gotten like three army building figures and then they give like one character you know like they'll throw Luke Skywalker in there and it's like I don't want seven Luke Skywalkers I want extra clones like why would you put them in there so good job not doing that bad job on overpricing everything and cutting the minifigure out so you know speaking of bad jobs is it time to address the core system in the room the core system uh the new disappointing decision that legos made oh let's hear it uh with ninjago the core system hold on i don't think i even know about this well, for those of you do, who don't know, apparently apparently the designers of Ninjago got a decision from the higher-ups, which, you know, is always a bad sign because corporate executives, you know, messing with products has been terrible in the past, as we've seen with stuff like the Schneider Cut. It's like, oh, if you, let the the original, yeah, if you let the original characters, you know, do stuff, or the original creators do what they want, you'll get the better vision. But now we get sad uh so you you guys all remember how nexo knights had like variation mechs that type thing but those were all cool and poseable well oh i know what you're doing it now thank you and they're, so they have three new things i think specifically they said we're trying to uh focus on the cores of ninjago which is uh mechs dragons and vehicles uh and i believe uh, the thread says specifically, uh, we were asked to come up with a line of Ninjago that would not only stand on its own without content, but also be the epitome of Ninjago toys. So they are basically saying, hmm, how can we make money without having to make actual Ninjago concepts? And what they came wa- up with is more mechs without knees, dragons without knees, and a couple plates you add onto a mech and call it Zane's mech. I am severely disappointed with this. That quote sounds like it came from someone who has, like, been threatened. Like, I'm just saying, like, read the script, yeah. buddy. Read the script. So, pretty much what you're saying is a really disappointing week for Max. Not even Max, just Ninjago. Because what they're saying is, we're trying to make it so even if we run out of ideas with Ninjago, we can still sell Ninjago because it's Ninjago. Okay. <laughs> They're not even wrong. <laughs> yeah, we have, that's what the tweet says, or the thread, or whatever the heck it's coming <laughs> from. They go, okay, our leaders are like, well, shoot, there's only so much we can do. It's on, like, line 15. Legacy was a great idea. What's our next idea? And then the Lego company manager's son goes, what if we just don't have a theme, and we just make it so you put a couple plates on, and then uh, a different mech? And they go, well, he's the, he's the owner's son, so we have to do what he says. And now we have the core system, which is what they're called. God, I, I, I didn't know by that end. I really dislike this. <laughs> if you're listening to the pod, thank you for staying tuned. Uh, just a fair warning, the pod is going to get much more disappointing from now on because <laughs> we got even more disappointing news. And we're really going to focus on the pessimistic side of LEGO this week. <laughs> This is the title of this pod will be tearing Lego apart. So I couple I um posted on Instagram last week that I'm really excited because there's going to be a $500 superheroes usually DC big D to C set $500. Apparently it's not DC, so we're not getting a $500 Hall of Justice or um a $500 Batcave. It's going to be Marvel, which I think is oh, it's cool. No. But come on, give us give us. Give us a big DC set, please. That obviously we've gotten the Batcave and the Bat or the Batwing and the Batcave and the Batmobile and the Tumblr. <laughs> but I'd like another one, please. Hollow Justice, the Doctor Octopus really cool. Mac. Yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah, throw that one in there. Why not? Um, five hundred dollar Doctor Octopus Mac. <laughs> if that is what it is, someone said it might be a big Iron Man, and I think they were joking. But it, I wouldn't. It wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't put a pass like make a big Iron Man. I I would. They would totally do that. In terms of what this actually could be, we've got the Daily Bugle, so I think there's a chance it's Oscorp, because that's a big Spider-Man building. I also think it could be Stark Tower, which would be so awesome, or a Sanctum Santorum. I think those last two would be just incredible. 
And so, of course, it will be none of those. Because it's Lego Marvel, and their job is to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah, I think they get one. The last, I mean, the bugle was fantastic. Will this be another bugle? Probably <laughs> not. I'm going to assume it's going to be a disappointment. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be cool. Who knows? I'm hoping it's modular. That's my, that's my big hope. Because they know Marvel will sell. They know modular will sell. So. I don't know why they know Marvel will sell. It shouldn't sell by all marks, but I mean. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we've had the new Boutique Hotel modular revealed. The land people have it. The back of the box shows it sinking under the other modulars. It is extremely small. It's $200. It's the 15th anniversary, and I think, honestly, the coolest part of this set is the idea of a hotel and the Easter eggs. I think... It looks nice for like a $150 modular. I think the fact that this is the 15th anniversary $200 set is just sad. It only has three rooms for a hotel. Two of them don't even have bathrooms. Uh, what else can I trash about this set? I really don't like it. Like, it, there's a whole gap between where it's supposed to connect to one of the buildings because they're like, oh, we're just not going to put pieces there. So there's a gap. There's an alleyway that you can't even get all the way through. There's a small building that has nothing to do anything. There's a palm tree that, like, the top half of the palm tree looks like a dead bush from Fortnite. And honestly, it's missing some hotel staff. It only has two for some reason. Um, that's the end of my rant. It's way too small, by the way. It, like, stinks under the other modulars. Uh, like, it's smaller than the bookstore. And it's a corner modular, which is just disappointing. It's a really cool shape, though. Uh, <laughs> any thoughts on this, Dragon? I, I'm not a very <laughs> modular guy. And from what you said, it does sound really disappointing. It just doesn't fit with what they've done so far, and that doesn't make sense to me. Especially considering if it's an anniversary. Here's what I find really funny. Like, if this was a $150 set, I would be like, fine. Not a great anniversary one, but I really like it. It's a really good set. And even though it's 200 like, I might get it because it's beautiful and it's a hotel and it's awesome. But what I find funny is, like, all the land people, right, come out with their videos, which YouTube, or not YouTube, Lego sent them the set for free, you know. They're reviewing it. They're allowed to say what they truly think. But, you know, when you get a set for free, your thoughts change a little bit. And all of them are like, oh, my gosh, I love this set. It's such a good value. It's such a good value, such a good value, such a good value. I'm like, bro, you got it for free. And then, finally, people start pointing out that, like, 200 for this set is pushing it, I think. If it's free, cool. If it's not, I feel like I feel like it's disappointing. But maybe maybe I just have a twisted perspective on it. Rant over. <laughs> I do think some of the Easter eggs are cool. You know the um the creator expert logo of like the the headlight bricks combining into each other? A little bit. So in the art gallery part of this, they actually have a clear version of that, which I think is a really nice Easter egg. They also have like a, uh, not posters, but uh, they're like posters that are advertising some of the businesses and the other companies, which I like. The, uh, the building design is really cool. It's really cool to get um, some bricks and flesh nougat, which is kind of odd because it's building on a skin, but it looks really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is a nice set. I think it's just overpriced. Uh, I feel like we have yeah. some more news, though. There definitely is more news. Uh, what would there be? We got leaked purple pants, which is kind of cool. Not much more to say about that. <laughs> yeah, the, by the design, they look to be some sort of rock pants. So there's a solid chance that there are some more disappointing video sets. But, you know, we'll see if Legos learned their lesson yet. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Stop making video sets. Stop doing video sponsorships. Stop with the video. No one likes it. You didn't even spell it correctly. <laughs> Every time we talk about video and I put it in the title, it takes me like a good three minutes to remember how Lego spells it. Because it's like V-I-D-I-Y-O, which looks really weird when you're typing it out in like a YouTube font for some reason. We got a creator monorail, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I can't think of the last time we got a monorail, which is, I think that's fun. 
What else? We got sunflowers. We got a printed tile that says the earth and has uh, the earth on it. So that's kind of cool. We got some more Harry Potter books coming out. Uh, stop me if anything sounds interesting. I think that's really it. Dang. Was that seriously all the news we had? That doesn't sound right. I think we had so much, but I think... I think we went through it. Oh, no, there's another um, Spider-Man set released, or announced, oh, okay. which is uh, a big monster, and I think it's kind of a cool set. The build for the monster is really good. The minifigures are fantastic. Um, I think it's weird that we're not getting, like, Sandman and the Lizard in any of these sets, but I think in a couple months, like in a month or two, we'll get another wave now that LEGO has official images, and then we'll get more accurate sets, because these are ridiculously, laughably have nothing to do with the movie. But uh, I think that's just another endgame situation of, you know, Marvel is like, hey, we're not going to tell you anything. Just do your best guess. So we'll see if we get a second wave. Well, that's about it. Anything you'd like to add? Word crashed. Uh, no, I don't think there is anything I know of for news. I mean, I guess we could talk about the new city sets. I personally think they're disappointing and overpriced because of the road plates. But I think the new hospital looks really cool. Didn't you decide to convert over to new road plates? What was the whole deal with that? Oh, I should talk about that because I don't even want to talk about that because I've been hating on them for two years. But I finally, I was watching Jane Brick's um, video again about converting to the new plates and how he lifted everything up with like that foam. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Michael's. And if they have the foam, I'm going to convert. If they don't have the foam, if they don't have the foam, I'm going to spend the money on buying old road plates. They had the foam. I bought it. I lifted up my city. I bought, I think, three sets of the road plates because they were like 20% off and they still are for some reason. And I got to say, my city looks a hundred times better. These things are the best. They are, they're so good because they're in system. You can make like curves, you have crosswalks, the street signs are really cool. They connect with the modulars really well if you lift them up because you get the curbs and stuff. I have alleyways between my buildings now. Um, I'll have to share a picture in the Discord. This is the best the city's ever looked. And like, I haven't even done anything other than just switch out the streets. They totally fit cars. Like, I didn't realize this. They fit a lot more than you'd think including a lot of the speed champion cards. So I don't think they should incorporate the roads with the city sets because it just it bumps up the price too much on those. But I think the roads by themselves are way better than the base plate roads. I hate to say it, but they're they, <laughs> they are fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so my bad, I messed up. Sorry for hating on them for <laughs> how long has it been yeah. since they released? Well, keep in mind this. It's Lego. It's a set that requires an exterior product from another company to function in the perfect way. That is still a bad product. If you need to go out and buy a secondary non-company product, that is obviously not designed. That means it was an oversight. So there is a flaw in the thing. But so, they improved, which is a good thing. I was totally of your opinion. I was watching through, shout out to Jane Bricks again, by the way, guys, he's so good with all these reviews. I was watching his video again, and he pointed out a really interesting point, which you can agree with or disagree with, but the new road plates connect to everything perfectly, except from the modulars, and that's because the modulars still use base plates. And honestly, at this point, I think it's the modular base plates that are outdated more than the, the city, because like the new road system connects to all the city sets. It connects to the other, but like it connects to the, the creator sets. It connects to everything except from the modulars. So I think there's an argument to be made that the modulars are now out of date and we need a 32 by 32 plate to build them on. Hmm. Mm, is there a video on converting them? That is the question. Yeah. I mean, the problem is like, I would honestly say the best way is lift them up with foam. Because, like, you can buy extra base plates to lift them up or bricks. But, like, I think I paid, like, the foam, it was, like, 50 cents per modular to lift them up overall. Because I just bought, like, a big foam board. So that's probably your best bet. 
but you could also buy base plates to stack them and stuff. There's no great way to do it. The foam works well, but it's not perfect because like Dragon said, you got to buy a different company's product. You got to grab out the X-Acto knife. You got to cut. And I mean, this is like meant for like children as well. So they're not going to have like an X-Acto knife and stuff. Like the sets should all come. If your child has an X-Acto knife, I'm more concerned. If what? Yeah, (laughs) exactly. So there's room for improvement. But I think I've overhated the roads at least because I think I've trashed them every time I've been on the microphone for the last two years. So my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad on that one. I was um I was wrong. But uh yeah, I was wrong. Lego was wrong because they messed up with their mechs. So really the only person right at this point is Dragon, I think. Uh that's temporarily correct, but I'm sure I'll check <laughs> that sometime soon. <laughs> Uh, this has been the Portal Pod. Check out our Discord link in the description. If you like brick films or Lego, it's definitely the place for you. We talk about leaks. We talk about movies. We um, talk about people's brick films and how to improve and stuff. And it's just all around great. You guys should definitely join that. And uh, thank you for coming. Goodbye.